a large amount of sacrifice in my own life and suffering um, for a case that I'm not sure of having a meaningful effect in the long term, like consequentially. So like I can't prove that um, go that going vegan would have a good effect, like a large ef enough effect on the world to justify not continuing to eat meat or to just to justify going justify going. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm gonna go to the point that I said earlier, uh, before Darth uh, hijacked the conversation. Um, would you have a problem with voting for a literal Nazi? Uh, it depends on whether or not he would have good a, a good result on the world. But I guess for a Nazi case, it's very, very, very unlikely that that would that that would happen. Yes. However, your your vote would basically change nothing. So, would you have a moral pro a problem with actually voting for a Nazi? Or are you saying because it would change nothing? No, I'm saying like, yes. Yeah, yes. Hold on, hold on. I'm saying that. I don't know. I don't understand the point. Um, okay, so what I mean is your vote. Uh, basically, it cost me your, your, your vote. That's the thing. It, it's not a sacrifice to vote. So, so no, I wouldn't. I would vote against him. Um, okay, so would you have a problem if someone voted for him? Wait, we're assuming that like, he's going like, to have negative consequences on the world, right? Uh, yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, but his vote, like, let's say your friend's vote itself, um, like, the vote's impact is basically zero, because whether he votes or not, um, the results of the elections are going to be pretty much the same. Okay, then I don't have a problem with it. Like, if we're assuming that it doesn't do anything, then why would I have a problem with it? Uh, well, the problem is uh, one vote, like, a single vote means nothing. But uh, if you add, like, so many people thinking that way, voting for a Nazi, um, it actually elects a Nazi. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, so it's the same um, same problem with uh, with the meat industry. Like your decisions don't really change anything, but if enough people think that way, it actually creates an industry that promotes basically animal holocaust. I agree. Yeah, so that's my whole point. So, right, so you, you, this you... is but we're we're trying to isolate an individual in this case. I'm I'm just curious about the individual decision. We're not talking about a, a larger effect like like that uh, onto other people. So you gotta take one thing at a time, right? Yeah, sure. Um, so I would say, um, well, me personally, I would have a moral problem with that. Um, to for example, to support an industry like that, even though um, if I decided not to support it anymore, it would probably thrive in basically the same way. But uh, if m myself and a lot of other people decide not to support it, then basically the industry is, uh, is going to go um, away pretty much. Right. So, so yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Okay. I mean, so yeah, this is like a cascading argument or whatever. I don't even know what to call. It. Uh, sorry, could you repeat? It, I never mind. I I don't even know what to what to call this. But yeah, I mean, I agree with what you say. Um. Yeah, so you would agree that um, by the case of the Hitler Hitler though, Hitler example, we're, we're not relating this to veganism yet. Uh, but... Yeah, so um, the analogy that 
uh, I would use right now is you would basically agree that um, supporting the industry by buying meat, uh, basically your impact is zero, but uh, wait, uh, I need to collect my thoughts. Give me a second. Yeah, so um, all I would say is even though your impact of your personal decisions isn't that big, um, it adds up. And if you didn't do it, it wouldn't add up. Therefore, it's wrong. Yeah, so, so first of all, I don't agree um, with the... I think it's a false analogy because... Um, it's it's possible that the meat industry could improve to the point where I think it would be immoral not to support it. And second, um, I would need to see evidence for what type of cascading effect I would have on others. Like um, I'm not con I'm convinced that it's possible that some people were going to go vegan, but because I went vegan and I'm like talking to them about it, that it would convince them to stay a carnist. Like I don't know that that's not. Uh, I'm not sure, actually. What do you mean by that? Like, my question is, how do you demonstrate what type of cascading effect or, like, effect on others I will have to make them go vegan as well or to create a bucket of water? Like, some guy mentioned, like, one drop doesn't do anything, but a bunch of drops make a bucket of water. Or yeah, exactly. So um, you could just set an example, show that it works. Like, how, that it works. like how do I demonstrate that I'm not taking water out of the bucket? Um, I think that the burden of proof would actually be, um, on you here to demonstrate that you actually would be taking it out of the bucket, but uh, I might be wrong here. If someone thinks that I'm wrong, please correct me. Well, someone is making the claim to me that it's immoral to be eating meat and supporting this industry. I'm the one saying, I don't know. So I think the burden of proof would be on the one making the claim. Uh, okay. Um, but so... I can see, hold on. I can let me try a skill, man. I can see arguments for saying um, you're defaulting to to torturing an animal or whatever. So, but no, no, no. It doesn't work. It doesn't work because yeah, my yeah. Never mind. It it doesn't. And so also, there's other things like. Um, if we support, yeah, like, so the other branch of this, of this same point that I made, if we support the meat industry more, okay, there's, yeah, the, let me just preamble this with the exa an example about climate change that Mike Isratel made PhD. Um, he, he says, look at India, it's at the point where it's maximally like um, producing like waste and pollution to the environment, but it's getting more and more rich. And like after it gets gets to a certain certain point in wealth, then they will start to be able to afford cleaner technologies and like export more and like clean up their environment and this and that. So I think meat industry might be the same where after a certain point, after they have enough wealth and money that they will be able to um, make a better system for like having animals. Mm. Uh, I'm curious if you would use the same argument for slavery industry. Uh, can you make the example? Uh, yeah, so the slavery industry is basically like um, treating the slaves. In a, well, the slaves are in terrible conditions, but if they get enough money, if they get rich enough, uh, they're going to be able to like afford better conditions for the slaves or like uh, maybe create a system where there's uh, no more slaves um, required. But in order to do that, uh, they would need to get a lot of money. 
Right. So any any question like this that's testing my like uh, consistency, I'm always going to answer yes, because um, I act as a consequentialist, whether or not, I don't know, like, I just, yeah, so definitely, if it would be better for the universe in the long run, like in terms of utilitarianism, then I would go with that. So like that, that's, that's about, that's all I can say about that. if you could calculate that, yeah, I would support the slave owners to make better conditions for the slaves, and then eventually not need slaves and all this stuff. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, I'm not sure where to go from here. Okay. Anybody else wants to jump?